Hey, you're watching Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. I'm Big Lou, and today I've got some information for you. Now, I got some baby back ribs in there, but that's for me. I'm not going to show you the recipe. Ah, heck, it's just baby back ribs with some Dr. Doors rub on it, and I'm hoping to put a special sauce on it. All right, basically today, it just got some information. You may have seen the title, Why to Hang Ribs. Well, I've got two racks of baby backs hanging in this uh, barrel house cooker right there, and um, we're going to talk about that. Not going to be a long video. Going to talk about that. Also got a mail call. What's in the package? I hope what's in this package is going to go on those ribs here in a couple hours. All right. Got to load this up with some other things too. First of all, I got some information. Um, Barrel House has been officially announced on March 31st of 2020. I'm doing this on April 14th. You probably won't see this video till Friday, April 17th. Um, anyway, uh, Barrel House just at the end of last month had a notification. A lot of speculation's been going on since uh, last spring of 2019. They liquidated everything and sold everything half price. Are they out of business? And people, the Barrel House Vertical Cooker on the uh, Facebook page was putting up with a bunch of stuff and saying, no, we're not out of business, we'll be back in. And in December of 2019, they started selling barrel houses again on the Amazon website. Now, there was a lot of speculation as to what happened, all right? One company that came out with a drum smoker, it's a pretty big, might have bought them and all kind of other stuff. But the rumors, most of the rumors that were somewhat credible turned out to be true. It is true. Pit Barrel now owns Barrel House, but they're still selling Barrel House. Now, whether that is uh, old stock that they're getting rid of or whether that's new manufacturing, I don't know. But I do know that it's owned by the Pit Barrel Cooker Company now. So there you have it. Uh, you knew that there was a lawsuit and Barrel House lost. That was in the spring. And then in the fall of 2018, things kind of went crazy and they ran out of stock. And then there wasn't any stock all of 2019 until December, and now you can buy the stuff on Amazon. Some of the accessories are coming online too. By the way, I got the extension ring on here. I don't know if they still got the extension ring. I don't think they do, but I got two racks of baby backs. So they're hanging. So that brings us to today's topic. All right, this barrel house stuff's over. Let's talk about why do you hang ribs? Recently, I did a video in my UDS. I'll be talking about more about UDSs in a minute, all right? Uh, in my UDS, that's my ugly drum smoker that I made out of 55 gallon drum. I did a rib video there. You can see it. It's in the I card right here. All right. And on that, my buddy Dash from Steel Drum Smokers Barbecue SDS BBQ. All right. He smokes and drums. He asked me about why I hang ribs in a big drum. I think, and I'm assuming from his impression, you can go to that video and read his comments there in our discussion there. I think I'm assuming from that that he uh, thought they were done in smaller drums like the pit barrel cooker and this barrel house and stuff to save space. But the truth is I, I had read this before and I went and did research and I said, you know what, why do you hang ribs? All right, well, you got them in this drum, the air circulating around and they're hanging vertical, okay? So instead of being flat where the heat hits the bottom of the uh, meat and then doesn't hit the top, whether it's um, ribs or chicken or whatever you're hanging, all right? And then comes around the top. Here it just goes right along the column of the ribs or chicken or whatever you're hanging. It works sort of like a poor man's rotisserie, a stationary rotisserie, I should say. All right. So, um, you know, where you get the rotisseries on the pit and the things turning so that it cooks evenly. Well, when you hang your food in a drum cooker like this or some other vertical cooker, it hangs. Now, uh, some of the research was kind of sketchy as to whether or not you've got these vertical smokers that are cabinet smokers. I'm sorry, guys, it's windy out here. These vertical smokers that are cabinet smokers. All right. Um, that may not have quite the same effect because you got corners instead of in a cylinder, but it still works somewhat. So that's what point of hanging ribs and meats like that. It works sort of like a uh, vertical spit, but it doesn't rotate. All right. So 
That's the information I found out. You can do your research, but that's the theory, okay? It also saves space. So there's a big, you can put a lot of racks of ribs if they're hanging vertically rather than going horizontally on a grate. In a little 30 gallon uh, cooker like this, or the pit barrel, or the, this barrel house, or in a 55 gallon drum, you could still hang a lot more ribs than you could if you were laying them on the grate. All right, so there's the deal with that. That's why you hang ribs. All right, now, also about barrel house, okay? Uh, somebody asked when I redid my UDS, Big Lou, are you going to still cook in your barrel house? Well, yeah, it's a pretty good cooker. In fact, I pretty much, it's my main baby back cooker. That's If I got baby backs, it's probably going in here. And I still use it a lot. Um, I haven't videoed much with it. One, because we thought the company's going out of business and stuff. And two, a lot of the things I cook in there, I've already made videos on. Made a lot of videos in 2018 with it. But I use this a lot um, since last June up into just a few weeks ago when I redid my UDS because my UDS was out of commission. So this did all the work I needed for drum smoking and stuff, even though you didn't see that on video. It got used a lot between June and I would say uh, late March or early April of 2020 and late June of 2019 till now. All right, let's open this package, guys. Guess what? Talking about hanging ribs? Phil in Florence just bought a nice rib hanger. Uh-huh. And he's hanging ribs in his Weber Smoky Mountain. Uh, that, that video, I'll have it down below. Maybe it'll be right there in the iCard too. Okay? Anyway, um, we he sent me some stuff. He sent me some stuff. He said, Big Lou, you don't have to do a video of it. You don't have to do a video of it. Well, guess what? I'm doing a video of it. All right. Um, it's a case knife. It's not a buck. Sorry, Phil. Let's find out what Phil sent me. Hadn't opened it yet. Been sitting in there nearly a week waiting to do this video. But he told me, he hinted at what it was. So let's find out. Cutting it open here. Maybe I need to sharpen that case knife. But he's got this taped up. Or Golly, Phil, you didn't want this to break. You did a good job. Look at that. All right. One bottle. And two bottles. Dang, Phil, that's a lot of bubble wrap. That's an old Texas Pete bottle. That one is an old Texas Pete bottle. You can even see Texas Pete right there. All right. This is Piff's hot sauce. He said he had one bottle left and he wanted to give it to me. All right, this is Piff's hot sauce and this is sweet red ribs sauce or sweet, sweet ribs red sauce or sweet rib ribs red sauce or sweet red ribs sauce one of the two that's how he's got it written you can see it it's good on these ribs we're gonna taste test it all right hey thanks for watching uh big lou barbecue before i go i gotta say one more channel mention one more channel so we mentioned dash's channel we mentioned piff's channel i gotta mention mike at everyday barbecue he gave me a shout out the other day i've got plenty of new subscribers from that mike thank you so much your channel's doing awesome and thank you for uh taking time to mention my channel on yours he made a fantastic greek burger on his uh blackstone all right don't go away when these ribs are ready we're going to put this sauce on it. All right. Time to sauce these ribs with this um, piff sauce. It's sweet, but he's got some vinegar in it because those Carolinians, they like the vinegar in their sauce. Hannah, what do you think of it? She's doing the video work for me. I really like it. It's a really nice balance. You know, the sort of sweet sour. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's good. Now, I don't like my fall apart ribs. So these, these baby backs here, they got a little, that's too hot to touch, Lou. Woo! Let me see what your daddy did. That one doesn't bend as well as the other one. The other rack's bending a little better. But still going to sauce them, add more sauce later. Here's what this rack looks like. See, that one's a little more, a little more the way it needs to be. All right. Let that sit on there 15, 20 minutes and we'll eat. I like back ribs that have a little bite to them because you know it's the same meat as a pork loin. All right, back in there. 
Oops, and I'm losing a popper. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can't see because of your hand. I'm trying uh, to... I saved it. Yay. I'm going to stay right there like that so it doesn't fall in again. Oh, I'm losing this one too. Uh-oh. No. Uh-oh. Cheesy. I'm burning my hands. Dad, be careful. I'm burning my hands. Ah. Oh, the cheese. Oh, rats. See if I can get the cheese. Uh oh. <laughs> ah. Dad. Oh, this is painful. Oh. Dad. <laughs> I gotta save the popper. Gotta save the popper. Anything for the jalapeno. Anything for the jalapeno. Oh, now don't try this at home. I'm an untrained amateur. <laughs> Woo! My fingers are burned. You got my fingers. You're gonna lose all the skin, Dad. That's, well, that's gross. That's, <laughs> oh! I fell to the cold. Ah! Cold or cheesy now? Oh, well. All right, when Phil and Florence does his uh, show, he likes to show everything they're eating, all the sides that his wife Janet made. So we got that smoke roasted onion right there. Got these ribs with the piff sauce. Got the uh, spicy mushrooms, and these marinated about four hours, so they're even spicier than the ones I did last time on video. And got the uh, jalapeno poppers, and we got these ribs. So here's the ribs once they're cut. Got some good smoke ring on there. All right, I think that will be my taste test right there. All right, it's not the biggest, it's not the smallest. That's how I like ribs. Mm. Mm. I need to stop. Mm. 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 That sauce is good, Phil. You did a really good job, and I really appreciate you sending it to me. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, show Janet my shirt. Go Tigers.